Got you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Security Shield 2011. It's the same as the old Security Shield but a newer GUI interface. I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for giving me this sample so I could show you this video. And if I just try to open Task Manager and stuff like that you can see it shuts it down and also you get these annoying pop-up boxes keep popping up okay and they're trying to prompt you to trying to prompt you to pay for the actual product okay which isn't even a real product okay so I'm going to continue unprotected here just want to show you uh, the internet when you go on the internet what happens is you get Google home page here I'll just pull this to one side so you can see so if I type in here malware bytes okay like so and then click on this link you'll get this warning message from your brow internet browser saying this this page is under attack from viruses basically okay anyway so I'm going to show you how to to bypass that from the desktop if you wanted to all you need to do is come down to the your run bar here or up the top of the browser and I'm going to type in here HTTP forward slash forward slash and then we're going to go to uh, live dot sys internals like so dot com and I'm going to go forward slash p r o c e x p dot e x e and that is process explorer okay now if I click on this we should get the download to go and the reason why that's working is because it's the the main download link rather than just the actual link there and you can do this from the desktop but I'd advise you to always go into uh, safe mode with networking really but if you wanted to be all geeky you could actually still do it from this uh, location and there you can see if I close this down you can see the actual download process okay so I could actually save this to the desktop if I wanted to and away we go so there is a way around it to download stuff so you can download files also, if you wanted to run files, you can actually rename the files, and this should allow us to actually run Process Explorer. So I'm just going to say no to this, and then we have Process Explorer. I'm going to pull this up here. Now, if I try to run this, it may let us run it, which it doesn't. So what we can do here is we can rename this. So the first thing I want to do first is open up my computer. Go to organize, file and search options, and I'm going to go view and show hidden files and folders. I'm going to take the tick out of there, apply that, and OK that. OK. OK, so now we can see the executable. I just want to rename this to see if we can get it to run from the desktop, just out of interest. So we're going to call this uh, win logon. We'll try that one first. Okay, so we call this win logon, click run, and a presto, we have it running. So from here, really, we could actually kill this process off, which is this one here, and then that's a, the jobs are good, and that will be dead. And we could then go to the location where it is, and I'll show you where it lives. Actually, uh, go to C drive here, inside uh, users, and then Brightec, which will be your user account for your computer you're using, application data, then inside local. And there you can see the culprit there. Once we kill the process, we can actually delete this very easily. Okay? So that's another way to go about deleting it. Just want to show you the uh, final way and that will be using a key code. Okay? Now you can actually use key codes for these to actually get get rid of them. And uh, this one, as you can see, if I go through the motions here, we can see the uh, it's off, risk is off and once I put the key code in it will actually go to recommended and it will allow me to kill the, kill the process or run any programs that I wish ok, so I'm going to get full protection click on this ok so it's going to say here, click here if you already have a key don't pay for this, it's actually fake you will be just ripped off, ok, so do not ever pay for this type of software I'm going to have to click on that say that I've got a key and I do have a key and it's right here and I'm going to re rename that because I've actually because you won't be able to open that file so I've just made the file that and as you can see it's going to say it's been paid for
So now what we could do theoretically, I can run anything I want, malware bytes or anything like that from the desktop and it should allow me to kill, kill this uh, virus off. Okay, so I just need to update. Even though this is running, you can see now that I'm managing to run malware bytes from the desktop and that's because we put the key code in. I will put that key code on the screen so you can see it once I've finished editing the video. Okay, now also programs like UVK can also kill the process and delete the file in one swoop as well. But always run scans with malwarebytes at the end to make sure that the infection is fully cleaned. Okay, so let me just uh, open up a process explorer or manage process manager here just to see if it's there. And there it is, that's the culprit, the place I showed you. I'm going to right click on this. Kill process and delete file. Say yes to that. And pretty much that file is now gone. And I would also update Malwarebytes. Always update your uh, Malwarebytes before you run it. And then I'll go back to scanner. And then we're going to run a full scan on this one. Okay. Just let that scan away. While that's scanning away, just want to go back to this location here just to see if it's gone. Okay, that's not responding there. Okay, go inside there, and there you can see there's another file it's created. Okay, this is a some sort of after you've registered, you get this type of file. I don't know why, but that one's going as well. I'm not going to leave that there, and I don't want that there either because that's part of what it is and now I would go into temporary files and I would actually kill all this stuff inside here as well okay just skip what you can't delete once you've finished your scans as you can see it's found some stuff there remnants left behind okay so now we can show you the results and uh, we're going to remove those that's in the recycle bin so pretty much it's the stuff I've done previously, so it didn't find anything else in there. So I'm just going to remove all that stuff. Okay, and I'm going to close that off and reboot the system. Make sure you reboot the system. Okay, I'm going to say no for this uh, for this tutorial, and I think that'll be about it. That just about covers it up. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed these videos. Hope you find them useful and helpful. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember guys, show your support, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. Okay, I'll be making more videos like this in the future. So thanks again. Thanks for your support guys. Bye for now.